Now let's discuss some of the most important concepts of project management. Now whenever you are going to start with project management, must go through the concept of project and the types of project. Right, so that's the first one. Concept of project and types of project. Now projects, they can be further classified into balancing project where we have balanced the number of machines and selected the appropriate number of machinery so that the whole line is balanced. So balancing project, then modernizing project where you know renewal of machinery takes place you just uh, remove the outdated machinery and modernize the whole uh, system after modernizing there might be some cases of upgradation modernize to kar liya aapne aage chal kar unka upgradation jo machinery aapne liye ho sakta hai usko aur upgrade karwane ki zarurat pade to upgradation projects then you have diversifying diversifying projects diversifying का मतलब है आपका अगर एक बेंचर चल रहा है right maybe in some sector industrial sector or in some particular sector and you want to diversify in a service sector तो service sector में diversify कर रहे हैं तो वहाँ पर diversifying projects they become very much relevant diversifying प्रोजेक्ट के बाद देयर कुड बी मर्चर्स एंड एक्विजिशंस प्रोजेक्ट्स आफ्टर दैट देयर कुड बी रिहैबिलिटेशन प्रोजेक्ट्स रिहैबिलिटेशन वेयर यू रिवाइव द होल प्रोजेक्ट एंड रिहैबिलिटेशन के बाद देयर इज वन मोर कांसेप्ट दैट इज मेंटेनेंस प्रोजेक्ट रिहैबिलिटेट कर लिया मे बी समहाउ यू वांट टू maintain some projects so maintenance projects are also there so projects can be classified into balancing modernizing upgradation diversifying mergers and acquisitions rehabilitation and maintenance projects next comes project life cycle now the life cycle of the project is bifurcated bifurcated into five major steps number one you have project initial phase right where the initial activity takes place then you have defining phase first of all you identify the business opportunity that is done in the initial phase after that defining phase comes then you have planning phase right Starting with, now uh, if we are going to draw the project life cycle, initially this is the first one that is initial phase, then defining phase, then planning phase, planning phase, and the major part is done in this implementation phase this is the major chunk of the project where the whole project comes into picture implementation phase it is also called as execution phase where all these activities of defining planning comes into picture so initial phase defining phase planning the planning of all the activities takes place and implementation is the execution of all the planning that is done and after that it is the clean up phase which is also called as closing the project follow up activities takes place and the project is ultimately handed over so the life cycle of the project is bifurcated into these five major phases you have initial phase definition phase planning phase implementation where the execution of the activities which have done in the previous phase of planning takes place 
and finally closing the project the project closure takes place so closing or you know the clean up phase this is the project life cycle next number 3 is project appraisal right in project appraisal there are other types of appraisal types of appraisal is done into these four forms you have this technical appraisal right technical are all the technology related aspects are taken care of the project is appraised on the from the technical point of view then economic financial and social appraisal so appraisal is bifurcated into these four categories technical economic financial and social appraisal then comes an important topic where you can have a practical on part and cpm right part stands for program evaluation and review techniques where you find out the probability of completing the project within a specific time frame which is based on three time estimates the pessimistic time optimistic time and the most likely time critical path method which is based on just one time estimates one time estimate but we calculate the earliest start latest finish find out the slack of each event ultimately find out that path which is the backbone of the whole project the critical path the most important path and you can also go ahead with the practicals on crashing which is an indispensable part of part and cpm right so this is number 4 then next one is number 5 is risk management and risk analysis risk management and risk analysis you are also go ahead with various short notes short notes on number 1 wbs work breakdown structure as the name suggests the work the whole activities is activities broken down into various small steps small stages and then the work is accomplished so wbs stands for work breakdown structure you can also do performance performance evaluation also called as performance analysis performance evaluation or performance analysis then tools and techniques tools and techniques in project quality planning tools and techniques in project quality planning then there is one more important short note which is responsibility matrix and finally another very very important practical on financial appraisal or capital budgeting whereby you have to select or reject the project on the basis of payback period net present value and internal rate of return capital budgeting which is under the topic financial appraisal financial appraisal or financial feasibility where you have to select the project on the basis of payback period the project having the lowest payback period is selected or net present value the project having the highest net present value is selected in case if there is only one project then you will have to select that project which has got the positive 
net present value because all those projects having negative NPV they are rejected and internal rate of return the project having the highest IRR internal rate of return has to be selected so project management may concept of project types of project which are balancing modernizing upgradation diversifying mergers rehabilitation and maintenance projects then you got project life cycle which is divided into five phases initial phase defining phase planning phase implementation which is the execution of all the planning done before and closing the project the clean up phase the last one types of appraisal bifurcated into technical economic financial social practical on part and cpm risk management and risk analysis short notes on work breakdown structure performance evaluation tools and techniques in project quality planning responsibility matrix and the most important practical on capital budgeting on the basis of payback period net present value and internal rate of return